What's the draw of running a hundred miles? A friend asks. Camaraderie, curiosity, and spirituality. Oh, and stupidity too, I say. Everybody running this thing is a novel unto itself. And so I said, I need to tell some of these stories. I'm a recovering drug addict and an alcoholic, a person in long time recovery. I'm a survivor. On June 26, 2006, I was a broken and isolated man who no longer wanted to live, who couldn't imagine life drunk or sober, who just couldn't imagine living anymore. I knew my addiction was bigger than me, and I knew there had to be something in this universe bigger than it. I find that there is a lot of people who deal with mental illness, with addiction, uh, eating disorder, uh, that kind of th those kind of things. Uh, drawn to that long running game. There's a lovely solitude that comes from being on the trail at night, even when running with others. A sense of peace, a sense of being, a sense of being in a holy place, a sense of being holy. I feel closer to God, my higher power, the universe, that thing that beats within all of us. An ultra is an extended prayer, an offering of gratitude to be alive. Running doesn't keep me sober. That's not how this works, but it does help me connect to that spiritual life which keeps me sober. Running is my prayer, a way of finding gratitude. I kind of associate real miserable times with the weather. When you find the body's limits is, is where the misery piece is. Uh, and usually that quite often that can be weather related and you learn to kind of wrap your head around the pain and embrace it as, like I said, as discomfort instead of as pain. I do like that feeling of being exhausted. I will say on a, when you go out and run for six hours, after three or four, you feel like you can go forever and there is a different kind of feeling. When you're finished, there's a great feeling of accomplishment, like, wow, I made it, of course, but usually that piece of it takes a few days to really process and sink through too. And that's why I love these things, because you don't know if you're going to make it at the start of a hundred, where a third of the people may make it to the finish line, and you don't know if you're going to be one of those people, and what you're going to encounter that day, either externally or internally that you might be hopefully able to move through to get to the finish.